everyone to this video the start of something great maybe if you're watching this you probably already know who I am and I've more than likely commented something very nice underneath this video what you seen there was a few clips from session today just a bit of UT2 pre-season for 2021 well underway well, not really week two of Pre-season, if you want to call it that, week two of summer training. 2020 was a bit of a write-off for me. Didn't really train much after the season that was 2019, which I trained more than I ever have. I got faster than I ever have. And then threw it all the way. Between being sick, which I'm well used to, and heart being injured the first day of September for six weeks. Things didn't really go in my favour, so to speak. But still it was my fault I didn't train. I didn't I'm not competing now with the last one Shannon who are racing the singles. But live and learn. I just gave myself a setback, it's someone else's fault. But if you don't know who I am, my name is Ben Webb, I'm nineteen years old. I'm a mediocre single scholar from New Ross Bull Club. And I'm rowing or training at Shandon more so and not really racing for them and yeah this is this is my life really not very exciting but I've wanted to make videos for a while when Eamon Gladden started making his vlog series over a year ago I was wanted to do it and I never did and uh, Phil, Phil Doyle has an amazing series too and of course the OG Cameron booking. But I want to do my own thing. I'm not trying to copy anyone. But yeah, we can see where this goes. I wanted to talk about, just in this first episode, the epilogue, so to speak, about wetting your ore handles for grip. <laughs> You might think that wetting your handles would give you less grip, but in reality it's actually the opposite. But you won't know until you try it for yourself. Well, presuming that they're new-ish ores that aren't just really soft and I haven't tried to tell the grip, but... Like my Croker Arrow handles, they're a bit rough because they're not that old and if you wet them, they get more grip than they would, let's say, if you splash yourself and it's like a small bit of water or if you're sweating and it gets slippery. So as you see, Mahi drives a, of course, one of the most famous rowers of all time, wets his handles before he races. And of course, that's where I got the idea. But if you do a piece, let's say 10 minute piece and it's really hot, you're going to be sweating and you're probably going to lose grip on the handles but if you dip your handles in the water before you start i assure you you'll have more grip throughout the piece than you would if you didn't i just wanted to throw this in at the end make sure you follow this podcast on spotify or soundcloud or apple podcast whatever it's going to be real